Alright, what's up guys? So this is gonna probably be somewhat of a long video, but hey, it's it's Ray doing the story time And if we, if you guys have seen like Ray's previous story time videos, then you you already know you're gonna be in for a treat But anyways, um, it, the video is titled I got fired and uh, I, I was kind of like looking at the title of it and stuff and I'm like dang you know, it's messed up at times. Like, I wouldn't necessarily, you know, I feel like at times, like, with my last job, I, I came close. But, you know, I still just, you know, was chilling and things and wasn't, you know, purposely getting myself into trouble. But, hey, it happens. You know, I, I've worked with people. Well, I, I've used to work with people, but then they got fired. And, yeah, but, no, nah, I lost my job due to COVID. So, in, in a way, they had no choice but to fire me. But, yeah, at the same time, it was like... Dang, bro. It's crazy. You know, it, honestly, it's crazy. But anyways, now nah, let's go ahead and check out this video. Guys, uh, this is the... So I'm pretty sure everybody knows of the other, um, like, you know, other, Ray's other channel, Hot Tea. I react to that channel all the time. And uh, I don't know. I was like, I, she, I don't think she uploads as frequently. Well, I should turn on another artist, so, you know, because I didn't even know she uploaded this video. So I definitely make sure I do that, turn notifications on for this channel. But anyways, um, yeah, she, she, you know, she does have a second channel, uh, the Hot Tea channel. This is her second channel, Ray Ramy, and she also has a business channel, Build Your Pocket. So if you haven't, make sure you subscribe to all three of those channels. But in that being said. Let's let's see why she got fired. Let's let's see. It's gonna probably be some things I can relate to, but no, nah, let's let's see real quick. Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. So today's video, yes, it's about the time I got fired, like two months ago. This story is crazy, you guys. This is insane. I can't believe stuff like this keeps happening to me. Like at some point, I just have to think that it's me. <laughs> I'm the problem, right? Why why is anybody else dealing with people like this? But yeah, let's just get into the story. Quick intro to me if you're new to my channel. Hi, I'm Ray. I have a tutor company, Tutor Fix. I also teach oh, yeah, for yeah, that too, that too. for it. This video is probably not going to be the best advertisement for my company. But if you're interested, <laughs> nonetheless, tutorfix.ca, you can check us out. But a couple of months ago, I got contacted by a guy being like, Hey, I want 20 to 30 hours a week to tutor my son every single day. To be completely honest, at first I thought it was a scam because I do get a lot of people contacting me being like, Hey, I'm gonna send you a huge check. You just send me some money back for whatever reason. So I thought it was a scam, but that's neither here nor there. But it turned out to be real. We did a trial session. I found out that the boy is 16 years old and he wants to do a grade 12 math course. His online school allows him to start a course whenever time he wants take however hmm. much time he wants with it and then end it whenever he wants. It's super weird. And to just give yeah, you a little sounds, bit of information about weird. how the Ontario math curriculum works, every single year you take one semester of math, so that's four months, and then in grade hmm. 12, depending on what program you want to, but most programs require you to take two maths, advanced functions and calculus. So this kid is in grade wow. 10, and he's taking a grade 12 math course. He was taking advanced functions. And so I was just like, yes. mm, why is he doing that? I quite frankly thought he was a genius and he was just getting ahead, but I'll get into my theory in a second. Sorry, I'm just looking down at my laptop, by the way. Yeah, it's like out here, they don't really uh, do it like that. No, nah, their thing is just like, look, if you was in the dumb classes in middle school, you're going to be in the dumb classes in the high school. <laughs> no, nah, but it's it's not like that overly critical, but no, nah, they, they just have it where it's not like set up like that. I don't know. I just, I don't know about online school. I went to public school, so I, I don't know nothing about no online school. I feel like online school is just... It's too, it's too advanced. It's too advanced. I'm like, fam, just, just go to a public school. Things would just be simple for everybody, you know, but... Um, but no, they, they do have like, you know, like the advanced like math classes, like the classes that she named off and all of that. But, um, yeah, for the most part, like, uh, schooling out here, I would say it really just depends. I feel like, you know, like all the like other schools, like once you get to like college or you start taking some like serious hardcore classes and stuff, then that's when it's like, oh, okay, you know, that's the real challenge. But like middle school, high school. Uh, of course, elementary and stuff. I don't know. There, there's kids out there flunking classes in elementary and stuff. So, it happens. But anyways, his parents wanted him to finish one full semester math course, a grade twelve math course in six weeks. Yes. Six weeks. And not it's only that, but short. they told me we can do like three, four hours a day. But he doesn't do homework and he takes weekends off. 
So every single second of math that he's doing is going to be with you. Think about it. A regular math course is like four months. Yeah. Every single day, students are in class for an hour and a half, and then they go home and do homework. Yeah. Or at least that's how it should be. And that's for students who are like actually like 17 to 18 or like in grade 12, not for right. 15 year olds taking a grade 12 course. So these people are telling me to finish a four month course in six weeks only with 20 hours a week. It's yeah, like, that's it's impossible. Exactly. But I was like, okay, you know what? We'll try for like a week and then we'll regroup and see how it's working out. Also, one other thing that doesn't really matter that much, but because they were asking for so many hours, I accepted a lower pay than what I usually do. Just like a slight bit, cool, but cool. keep that in mind. I lowered my hourly rate for them. First of all, they were trying to lowball me to like $25 an hour first. And I was like, mm. okay, no, what can you do this much? Oh, by the way, he got, his parents said that he got a 96% last semester. So for his grade 11 math, um, that he also took online with a tutor and the exact same method, he got a 96%. So That's I cool. was kind of like intimidated for a second. I was like, oh my God, what if he's smarter than me? <laughs> like, what if I don't know the answer to his questions, you know? He actually was very, very, very behind. He was a really oh. sweet boy. He, honestly, like the nicest person ever, like the epitome of a Canadian person. He would apologize every single second for like not knowing things. And every single time I would be like, don't apologize. This is my job to explain things to you. Never be sorry. Uh, that wasn't that wasn't schooling for us. Like kids, kids will legit get upset because they don't know the answer to something. Fam, do you know I've been in classrooms where kids. So a teacher would ask them like, "Who was the first president of the United States?" And they're just that one kid. Like, I don't know, bro. Like, freaking George Jefferson. That's like an old TV show character or something. But. And then the teacher just be like, it's George Washington. And the kid just, he'll, like, the kid will honestly get mad, be like, hey, yo, why you ask me? And there's all these other kids in the classroom, you gonna ask me. Like, and then they gotta go outside and then go to the office. You don't see them for like two, three days. Then they come back and you ask them, where have you been? It, it's a whole process, bro. But, anyways, um, I have to say, I was, I was one of those kids at one point. Cause, man, I'm like, hey, yo, look. I'm in this class to learn. You just surprised me with a question. I'm going to just be blunt with you. I don't have the answer to it. So it's like, if you teach, instead of asking me random questions, I could possibly, towards the end of the school year, give you an answer. But when we, like, smack that in the middle of class, like, I, I, don't, I don't know. I, I, I do not know. See, I wish I had the mind I had now back when I was in school. I, I definitely had. I probably got sent to the office more. So it, it's probably good I had the mind that I had back then and not the one that I have now. But anyways. For not knowing something or having a question about something, this is literally my job. I'm getting paid here to help you. And then I always just be like, don't be sorry. Keep going. But I soon realized that he's very, very, very behind. His mm. last tutor probably did his entire test for him because not only was he not up to date with the grade 11 material, he wasn't even up to date with grade 10, grade 9, grade 8. We were having troubles with like grade Dang. 7 material and he's taking a grade 12 math course. Again, Dang. very sweet kid, very nice kid. We were like friends because we were spending so much time together, but he was behind. Like that's just the fact. And there is no way that he had gotten a 96% in the grade 11 math course. I'm just gonna put it out there. Yeah, it's like, that's, ain't no way you could do that. Like, I, my thing is, is this, because I know that there was a girl I went to school with, she was like that with her. There was like a couple of kids I went to school with, they was like really behind. They would just overall, so they, they would have it where there would be like some like, like, I ain't gonna call it like like special education, but it's classroom, it's classes where it's like meant for kids that's like, they have a much like lower like grade level and stuff like i can't think i don't want to call it like special education and stuff because i i mean if but if that's the name then that's the name but they would have you in classes where it's like it's meant like they will overall like just you know work with you like a teacher will work with you assign you some work and then just you know kind of get you caught up and it would kind of like be something along those lines where they would kind of like do like a quick learning so they can get you up to like date with like and they'll just give you a test and they get like get you up to date so it's like oh, okay so by the time when you do get into uh, high school or at least to your senior year then you're like you know you are mentally prepared for like the uh senior classes and stuff so that's how it's set up at my school but anyway so i couldn't figure out why his parents were so insistent on him taking grade 12 math courses in grade 10 but here's what my theory was. My theory was that 
courses are online right now, right? And I think they were at that point, they said they were going to be online for sure until the end of August and then starting mm. September, there's a possibility that they could be in person. And in online courses, cheating is so much easier for exams. Not in the universities, because university tests are proctored, but in high school, none of the tests are proctored, or at least none of my students have proctored tests. So people can are literally just paying other people. I personally have gotten so many messages of people being like, hey, can you take my test for me? And I'm always like, no, wow. sorry, I can help you with the material. I can never take tests for you. So my theory with this family was- Oh no, I mean, you sit down and think, no, nah, okay, I, I can't do it. I, I, no, I was thinking about it, but I'm just all like, no, nah, I ain't gonna do it. I ain't gonna be out here scamming kids out their education. And education is needed, so. His dad, especially, was insisting that he take all of his math courses up until the very end of grade 12 in mm. his grade tenure, just so he can cheat his way through it and get very high grades so he can get into a good university. Because what matters when you're getting into university is only grade 12 grades. They don't care yeah. about any of your other grades, only top six grade 12 courses. And for most programs, English and math is one of them. So my theory was these parents had no hope in their kid actually being able to get a high grade in math and earn his way to a good university. So they felt the need to pay someone to take all of his math tests for him That's up until wild. the end of grade 12, when he's still in grade 10. <laughs> After around a week of us working together, I soon come to the conclusion that this is impossible. We can't get this yeah. course done in six weeks time without him doing homework. So I have a conversation with the mom, the dad's not there and I'm like, hey, would we possibly be able to extend this course? So I was asked for like three months and she was like, no, like the dad is apparently really, really strict on keeping the course at six weeks. And I'm like, that's so weird, first of all. Yes. Like, my parents they didn't even know what classes I was taking when I was in high school, <laughs> let alone be insistent on finishing yeah, the course. Yeah, exactly. In a certain semester. It's like, they, my thing was, is like, they'll know once when the, uh, the teacher calls them up talking about, hey, your son's flunking my class and things, and we just want to know what's going on. Like, that's that's when they would know. So I would, you know, definitely by the time when I got to my senior year, I was, de I was avoiding that. But I think I was, well, I was messed up because there was just some teachers where I'm just all like, you you ain't a real teacher, huh? Like, I think at the end of the day, I would have rather had Ray as a teacher because I'm like, she seems like she's more patient with people. And I honestly, I think I've done, I might have done some story time videos on some of the teachers that I had, but there was this one particular teacher I think I can do a story time about if I haven't done, if I haven't done one already, where it's like, ain't no way she's a professional teacher like you if any like just man that teacher is like man she she was she was she was a person i'm just gonna say that she she was a, a particular what weird but a particular person that's just so weird to me but whatever i guess families are different but i was like can we at least do two months because six weeks is insane there's no way we could do it even if he does somehow get 96% again, he's not actually learning because the nature of math is that you need to constantly practice and over yeah. a span of time um, have that material instilled in you. It's a very like rote learning facts. process. You keep having to practice. You can't just memorize a bunch of facts and exactly. test on it, right? So even if he does, they had just doing that in math classes like back when I was in, in school. In this course, he's not actually going to learn. And if he goes to university, he's probably going to have to take a math in first year, and mm -hmm. that's when he's going to have a really hard time. Especially since the material that you learn in university is like exponentially harder than high school. Not only is it harder, but the volume is so much more that you don't have time to be spending 20 hours a week on private tutoring, you know? Yeah. She told me that their plan for their son is for him to study chemistry in university and then graduate and then take over their chemical company, which mm. the dad owns currently. So what she told me was that she doesn't actually need her son to succeed in university. <laughs> Can you believe that? And then I was like, okay, well, even if he's not getting high marks in university, he's not learning anything now because it's just, it's so fast. It's yeah. so fast. Every single day, we're just learning new things and he's not getting any practicing done. And then she goes, kid you not, she goes, well, our chemical company, he doesn't really need to know math in order to run it. It's huh? okay if he doesn't learn all of this material. This is exactly what she told me, I guess, paraphrased, but 
This is essentially what you told me. She said she doesn't care. If her son isn't actually learning the material, all she needs but is time you... to earn a high grade. Which I expect to hear from a 15-year-old yes. boy. Heck, that was totally yeah. my mindset in high school. That was even my mindset in university, and I was an adult. But that's just the last thing you expect to hear from someone's mother. You yeah. know? Like, oh, it's okay if my kid doesn't learn. So I was just like... Yes. Yeah, oh. uh, nah, like, my thing is, is this. You know, I, the day where I, when, well, when I do have kids, uh, I'm going to make sure of it, like, you know, that they get through school and all of that. And if they do want to go to college, I'm like, all right, I got you on that. Like, it's, it's cool. Don't worry about it. I will help you and everything else. But, you know, and I'm, I, that's the thing. It's like one for one, it shouldn't be rushed. I'm like, cause that's just going to overwhelm the kid. And yeah, and then the kid's never going to learn they're going to be overwhelmed and trying to think on a bunch of different because i'm like man the days where i was overwhelmed with all the amount of stuff that i was doing and it's like we ain't even talking on like well it's i guess different and things like how he's doing it. it seems like it's way more challenging for him but i'm just saying like kids can get overwhelmed so um yeah i i just uh yeah definitely though i i wouldn't i wouldn't say something along those lines or think along those lines like Nah, regardless of whether it is like, okay, if it's an easy company to run, it's like, regardless, you still want your kid to get like an education. So it's like, you know, if some like, you know, something hits the fan and it's like, oh, okay, well, you know, we got the kid to rely on. But it's like, he's going to be like, you don't want to be like smack dead in the middle of it. Then he's just like, well, I don't have an education, so I don't know what's going on right now. So it's going to end up like, you know, just, yeah, it, it's just, I see that. It's like that dang going to end well, you know, having that outcome, like that mindset and things. So, okay. You know what? It's good to know where your head's at and what your goals are. Yeah. We'll just, we'll aim for a high grade. Eventually I ended up asking him to actually do homework because it was just impossible to get the course done in such a short time frame without him doing additional work himself. Yeah. He said, okay, because he's like a sweet kid and you know, whatever I said, he would always just be like, okay. But hmm. not once did he do his homework. <laughs> not once. A couple times he did like half the questions, but every single day we would start off and we would take the first two, three hours of our lesson just doing his homework. And we wow. would extend the day. We'd do like five hour days, six hour days. It Dang. was crazy intense. Mind you, I was studying for my own exam. I had my LSAT Dang. last week and this entire time I would spend like six hours with him and then I would try to go study for my LSAT. And I was stressing out for him so much more than he or his family was stressing out for himself or then I was even stressing for my own test. Because he would have a test coming up and he would do absolutely no preparation for it himself. Yeah. And I'm a really like blunt person. I just say things how it is. I don't sugarcoat things. So when he wasn't doing his homework, I would just be like, hey dude, you're not gonna pass this course if you don't do your homework. Like Facts. straight up, that's how it is. <laughs> I don't even know how I would sugarcoat that. Like, mm, sky baby, when I love you so much, but I can't do your test for you i can't cheat for you yeah. you're going to have to try a little bit yourself if that's yeah. okay with you <laughs> is that how you sure about it is that how they want me to speak so a lot of times a lot of like fake nice people don't get along with me specifically a lot of white people because like they have that like fake nice culture around them not all but some but yeah, he never did his homework. This one time, he had a bunch of like polynomial long division questions for homework, like maybe 10 uh, of them. A uh, what? Oh, see, it's see, it's stuff like that. I've been, bruh, I've been right there. I've been in there like, like trying to be like a teacher assistant to Ray. And I just, she looked at me and just been like, so Tyler, can you help us on this? I'm like, I'm lost. I'm like, I, I struggled with, I struggled with fractions. Stuff like that, freaking pandemonium division whatever she said i'm like no i'm not no i'm not no nah, i'm i'm sorry yeah definitely i did my own story time i'm like how i you know quit ray's job and moved back to the uh to the states because i you know i realized i wasn't equipped for it so yeah i i think it's us uh, you know at times where it's like you just gotta push things to the side so Ray, like, even though the, it, like, it hadn't happened, like, I hadn't worked for you, I'm, I'm sorry for, like, pre-quitting the job that was never, you know, meant for me or there for me, so. And the day he was supposed to hand it in, he handed it in, but just, like, a bunch of final answers that he copied from the answer sheet. So I was wow. just like, mm, like, how long did it take you to do these? And he was just like, oh, like, two hours. I was like, okay, let's do the first question together. <laughs> we did the first question together. That one question took two hours. <laughs> like that was the kind of time pressure we were on one long division question took us two hours and we had like a five hour class that day and we had to teach a new lesson too i mean i obviously let him get away with it i was just like 
Sky, there's no need to lie about it. It's fine if you didn't do your homework. Mm -hmm. I mean, it's not fine, but just we can do it together. I'm not gonna, yeah. what am I gonna do? Like, murder you? Like, no. <laughs> my only existence, my only purpose being here right now is to help you and help me help you, you know? Um, so he was just doing absolutely no preparation for it whatsoever. He was taking weekends off entirely, That's not crazy. doing anything. Sometimes he would do like one or two homework questions, but not once did he ever complete his homework. His first exam comes up after like a month. We plan to do it on Thursday. Thursday, he's unprepared, so we push it back to Friday. Friday, he's unprepared, so we push it back to Monday. Monday, they have yes. family emergency, so we push it back to Wednesday because Tuesday was my birthday, so I took the day off. Mm. So we pushed this test back six days farther than it needed to. And remember, we're still on a time crunch. We're still trying to get this course done <laughs> in six weeks. Imagine how much pressure I'm under. Hey, I'm saying there's been times where I've done videos with my hands. Like, my hands is, like, kind of, like, ashy right now, so... It happens, like, you know, hey, you didn't wash, I ain't put lotion on, so it, it happens, right? Like, hey, you know, it's just letting us know, like, hey, a video, a video is just gonna be that good. Like, I feel like it's like, when you just ain't even got time to do no other stuff, you just got straight into the video, you know the video is gonna be it good. It's like my job, and the reason why I'm under a lot of pressure right now is because I have, like, an amazing track record with my students. Every single student I've had, they've seen a dramatic increase in their grades from the previous year. Like I'm telling you like 20% increase type of things. I've had like people go from like 65% to like 90%. That's Dang. the kind of results that my teaching draws. So for me to have a student who went from 96% and take him down to like a 50% Shit, because that's actually where um, his knowledge level me was at, was that's school. a reflection of my work, you know? So it was really a stressful time for me a stressful process for me to get him up to at least maybe like a 75. He was at like a 30 to 40 percent understanding level. Also, Dang. I forgot to mention that I didn't just quit because I didn't want to like abandon this poor boy mid semester without a tutor, but it was just so much stress for me. I remember ranting about it to like everyone in my life. My mom kept telling me to just quit, and I remember literally like telling her that I wish they would just fire me instead. <laughs> so I knew that they had another tutor lined up instead of like the uncertainty of me quitting and like screwing over my student. Because again, like I thought he was a great kid, like he doesn't deserve to be like abandoned in the middle of the semester. The day of the test, his dad comes to talk to me for the very first time. His dad, busy dad, never seen him. Um, and he's like, hey, Ray you're gonna help him out, right? And I'm like, yeah, I'm gonna help him out as much as I can. Yeah. Um, can't give him answers, but I can lead him to them. Very first question, he can't do. Move on, can't do. Third, can't do. We do like Dang. the entire exam. And he probably has done. Yeah, there's like, that's the thing. It's like, you can't blame the tutor on that. It's like, my thing is, is this, and just, you know, to talk on my own personal experience when I was in school, because I, you know, my thing was is this. I, I remember it was like when it came close to like graduation and that it was this, you know, this like bad teacher. I remember she it was, she was a health teacher. And I remember that was like she wanted me. She wanted me to like show her how to use a blood pressure cuff. I'm like, fam, there's freaking Walmart, Target and hospitals where you could go to to test your blood pressure cuff. I'm not going to, you know, see a car flip on a like freeway about three, four times, run up to the people their whole body is bleeding and just be like, first things first, let me check your blood pressure. No, give me a test, let me, and it's stuff like that where I, but I remember that whole day, bro, I was studying for that test. I was doing practice tests. I was testing myself. I was doing everything possible. I gave, you know, my thing was, and I wasn't going to be like, oh, okay, let me go hang out with friends, do this, do this, do this. I think I had skipped out on lunch. I skipped out on a bunch of different things just so I made sure I passed this test and made sure I graduated from high school. So that's honestly, that's what you have to do. It's like you have to, my thing is this, if you want something to be done, you're going to have to make um, some sacrifices. And that's like that. That's, that's honestly like life advice. That's for anybody that's in school, for anybody that's at a job, trying to start a career, trying to start your business, whatever you got going on in life, like you got to make some sacrifices and things. So that means sacrificing time, video games, music uh whatever whatever it is that's like occupying your time and whatever this kid is doing that's occupying his time it's like i think that's what i will honestly be doing like as raised like ta and stuff like okay i'm gonna be that motivational person on the side to just let you know like hey fam whatever you doing on the weekends you gonna have to just be like hey yo we gonna have to push this to a weekend where i'm done with all of this and i'm focused on school so i don't know 
40% of it and I've helped him already so much. I helped him with this test so much more than I was planning on because he's a nice kid. And yeah, I it's like you can't, right? Ray cannot blame herself on this. That's that's the kid, and that's the parents' fault. The parents is all like, "Oh yeah," or the mom was all like, "Oh, he don't need no education." Yeah, I hear that. What, what, what's an education? Weak. It's against my ethical values and my morals to do that because if you think about it, this is a grade twelve course. Everyone's taking these courses in order to get to university, and so people are competing with these grades. This boy, as sweet of a boy as he is, he doesn't deserve to get into a top university over someone who actually earned their grades. So if someone gets like an 85% of themselves, they deserve more to get into a good university versus this kid who deserves to get a 30% would actually go to 96 because his tutor did his exam for him. <laughs> you know, so like that's where my head's at. I'm not gonna just straight up give him all the final answers. I did help him so much though. Like, you know, the question would come up and I- Cause, And then also it's like, the parents should have like, the advice that I had just given out, that should have been the advice that his, that his parents should have been giving him. Cause my thing is, is this, so let's say he gets, the, you know, this job, right? Or he runs the business that his dad started or whatever, you know, like he gets this job, but then he's like the way that he's acting right now in school. It's like, you really want him to act like that at this career too? It's like, that's, I'm see how, look, look how far that career goes. I'm telling you, there's going to be a chemical warfare going on if that kid runs that business. So anyways, that's why I'm like, yeah, you, you know, you got to like, like study you gotta like you know you gotta like do the work and stuff in order to you know get like the bigger picture the bigger dream whatever you're trying to accomplish it's like bruh it's like you're gonna have to put that work in i'd be like hey remember when we used this theorem use remainder theorem use the theorem where you set this equal <clears> to <throat> this and it gives you like i would just give him all the answers without actually like giving him the answers and i know i'm like incriminating myself right now but still <laughs> didn't give him all the answers, which pissed off the family. At some point, there was a question um, with a triangle in it. It was like about the area of a triangle. And then there was like further algebra in it. But this was the first time we were seeing a triangle in the course. And I said, well, they expect you to know what the area of a triangle is from the seventh grade. I guess that sounds mean. Because <laughs> then his mom from the other side of the room started screaming, Ray, that's not a nice thing to say. That's very mean. I was like, Okay, but I ended up Fam, being... sometimes you gotta be a mean teacher. It's like when a kid because I already know for a fact I've been in a classroom where it's all like fam Didn't I tell you this before it's like you gotta know the area of the triangle It's like I ain't say nothing about no squares no circles no rectangles and no other shapes triangle Triangle, okay, like that's all I'm just gonna tell you and I just sat back at my desk and just looked at him And I just looked in the triangle and I'm like that's bruh like, don't, don't play with me. I'm like, I did not become a teacher for no 15 plus years <laughs> to, I, yeah, I think it, it just wouldn't be cut out for me to do no job like this. Cause I'm like, all right, no hands down 105. My thing is, is this, if I caused kids to cry and we was like around the same age, just cause I couldn't read their paper. I already know how I would be as a teacher. I probably, I, I definitely been doing a, a similar video saying I, I actually, you know, yeah, I got fired from a school trying to teach some kids. The kids ain't know nothing. So I, I got I got overly critical, but anyways. Giving him the answer anyway, he still did the question. He got an 83% on it, by the way. Oh. The amount I mean, of work that he did would probably have given him a 40%. I helped him dang. with the other 43%, but apparently that wasn't enough for the family. They were expecting a 96%. We had a class the day after. I'm like, 80 is passing. I don't like, care. Oh, sorry, Sky has a dentist my thing is, is like when you get to that 60 range that's when it's like oh okay and then we gonna have to work but it's like nah you get up to 80 nah you you passing okay 70 80 90 full on 100 if you get anything above 100 it's like yeah fam you good so the following monday before our class i get a phone call from the mother first thing mm -hmm. she says is Ray, how would you feel if i told you you have the intelligence of a five-year-old i was like what it doesn't feel good does it i'm like oh, well that's your opinion it doesn't hurt my feelings because i know it's not true that's yeah. how sky felt when you told him that he doesn't know things from the seventh grade and then that's when she told me that he got 83 percent she also said it in kind of like a fuck you kind of way like 
oh, you think he's so stupid, he actually got an 83%. Just totally ignoring the fact that I helped him get yeah. the 83%. He did not know 83% of the material. And then she starts screaming at me nonstop for probably like 30 minutes straight about how I'm so mean to their son. I have wow. an ego problem trying to show that I'm smarter than a 16 year old boy. I'm sorry, it's my job to teach your son. <laughs> she knows I want to go to law school, so she's like, you're not gonna get anywhere in life. I don't care if you want to become a doctor or a lawyer, you're not gonna become anything. Just going on and on and on about how I'm such a terrible human wow. being for not helping him cheat on his exam. And then, and then at some point, she goes, I heard you tell Skye not to be sorry. And I was like, yeah, because he was kept apologizing to me. And she's like, but you know, as Canadians, we apologize for everything. I'm assuming you were born in Canada, right? And I'm like, what is that? What is that? What are you talking about? And I low-key slightly got wow. racist vibes from that sentence. Like, oh, you don't belong in Canada. This is what we do here. But it was only like slight vibes. Like even if she was slightly racist, I think that would have been the least of her problems. She's yeah. mostly just like batshit crazy. But like, I don't think it's a bad thing to tell someone not to be sorry. It's honestly, it's, yeah. I think I'm pretty sure it's an expression for someone to say, I'm sorry. And like, don't be sorry. Like, yeah. It's no, thing. like I've, yeah, I've said that numerous times. Like, I don't know, like, I, well, it's like, I don't usually say, like, oh, don't be sorry. I just crack jokes with it. I just let people know. I'm like, I'm not being dead serious about it and stuff. Like, she's like, oh, my God, I'm so sorry. I'm like, you know, hurt my feelings. But I'm just like, no, I'm just, I'm playing. I'm joking around. So it's like, I, you know, I don't take it to the heart and things. But, yeah, it's like, that's cool, though, to just, you know, to, like, and I think that that just, like, overall, like, kind of cancels out, like, a person's anxiety when they think, like, oh, I just, I just did something, I just did, and it's like, nah, you chilling, like, it's cool, don't worry about it, but anyways, yeah, that, that mom, though, yeah, I, I think, uh, I think that mom, I've been, like, I, see, that's, I'm, like, I went, looked at Ray, and be like, give, give me the phone, give me the phone, like, uh, where was you when we were trying to help this boy out, oh, yeah, that's right, you were sitting all the way on the other side of the house, doing nothing just sitting you didn't have a tv on you wasn't listening to music you were just sitting who just sits in the chair don't call this number no more and then just hung up the phone that's i'm like so yeah that's it's there's like pros and cons if i worked with ray but more 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 so more so cons but anyway, anyways uh, oh and then at <laughs> some point in the call she tries to make me feel so terrible about losing this job opportunity she goes this could have been so good for you. This could have been a long-term employment opportunity for you, which is a lie, by the way, because he was going to finish all of his math courses in like two months. What long-term yeah. employment opportunity, you know? And then she has the audacity to say that you are getting paid so much more than anyone else's your age. And you should have been thankful for it. Wow. <laughs> so stupid. <laughs> I don't care. If I'm making more per hour than someone who works at McDonald's does. I'm yeah. tutoring. I'm teaching. I'm getting paid less than the market wage for teaching. <laughs> I'm not comparing myself to like the average 23 year old. I'm comparing myself to my job and what yeah. I'm doing and the value that I'm providing. <laughs> and also, you're underpaying me, which is fine. I, I, I was okay with it. It was part of her contract. But for you to have the audacity to say that I'm getting paid more than everyone else, no, yeah. I'm getting paid less than everyone else because you got to compare me to other tutors and teachers, not other 23 year olds. I don't know what you're, I don't know where she's going with this. God damn it. But also like, <laughs> thankfully I'm so, so, so blessed and grateful to not be in need of her like two thousand yeah. dollars a month or whatever i'm very fortunate to have so many diversified streams of income that i'm not dependent on like one student for food that week but i understand that a lot of people would be in that position i understand probably their last tutor was in that position because they were okay with doing something as honestly like terrible and unfair as taking a test for someone for money yeah. for a good again 35 minutes she's like screaming at me talking over and over and over again repeating the same exact things i'm like okay you know what thank you so much for the advice because she's giving me all this advice about how i need to learn how to talk to people <laughs> and i'm like thank you so much for the advice and if i can give you guys some advice and she was like you know what ray i don't care about anything you have to say i'm like okay well i don't care about what you have to say and she goes, yeah of course you don't because you're like an ignorant blah 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 blah, blah, blah. Wow. and i'm like 
you just told me that you don't care what I have to say, and then she just hangs up on me. <laughs> wow. <laughs> she texts me, we no longer want to have you tutor our son. I think that was pretty obvious. <laughs> because of negative unprofessional behavior on your behalf, we will settle up with your last week. I go, sure, and I'll say this here because you hung up on me earlier, and I actually really do care about Sky. Because again, I do. This yeah. kid is such a nice kid. Kid. He's so well behaved and like well raised. I don't know from like what other parents. He probably wasn't raised by that mother. He probably has a nanny. But he's like an amazing <laughs> kid and we did become friends. We were like bonding over both of us watching Brooklyn Nine Nine. Like he was oh, okay. a really nice kid and we spent a lot of time together and I honestly truly wish him the best despite his terrible family and despite being set up for failure by his own parents. Then yeah. I go and say it's called tough love. I've seen firsthand people with families like you who bought their grades in high school and who failed out in first year of university. That's also Dang. true. One other popular thing a lot of people do here is that they'll do private school, which is basically just buy your grades. <laughs> what it is, it's like you go to like private night school and it's just an easier version it's of like the that actual out here too. course. Tests are easier and if you do private school, you're, you're going to end up with like a 90%, but you have to pay for it, obviously. Everyone so like, who was that one YouTuber that was doing the videos with uh, David Dobrik? And she was like, I think, well, no, I think it was a university. No, it was a university. Never mind. But still, though, like, people do that. People be buying their grades. And it's like, fam, just study homework. It's easy. Just write out stuff. Remember things. Homework. <laughs> like, it, it's just, you know, we're overall just doing work. But anyways, like, I know I made it sound easy, but it's like, it, it is going to be hard. But it's like, that's life, bro, or sis, whoever, like life's gonna be hard so no who did a lot of private school flunked out first year or had to drop down to an easier program after first year especially since i was at uft and it was like it's a really really hard demanding program and if they want their kid to study chemistry chemistry is not easy especially when yeah. it's going to like chemical engineering or something but either way it's not going to be easy he's not going to make it to second year of university mm -hmm. i go sky's current understanding of the material is at around 40 percent and whatever he decides to study he will not be able to pass first year if he keeps going like this please take your son's education seriously because contrary to your belief it's not all about finding a job post-grad he might not even be able to make it to graduation at the current pace he's going and he can't cheat his way out of university she replies saying Dang. considering the source of this it means nothing if you were a real teacher you would be held accountable for your deplorable behavior you could have taken this as a moment for self-reflection it is so very damn i wish i had a teacher like Ray. as a bully and taking advantage of a position of power would you now like to spend seven hours with me today? Unfortunately, you took advantage of us, and our son had to endure relentless hours of unprofessional attitude, chastising, wow. and negativity. Oh, fam! Like, if my thing is this: if Ray would have been my teacher, it would have been so. Who's for those that have seen the TV show Boys Meet World, and you know how like how chilled those kids were with Mr. Feeny, and he was like all the way up to like. That would be me and Ray. I'm like, oh, that she had been the one teacher I definitely came back and like visited in high school and stuff or whichever school and things. Cause no, it's like you can. My thing is this: there, I feel like that there's like many like outside of like YouTube and stuff. I feel like that you know there like that, that mindset we can relate to and stuff. So, um, I yeah, I definitely like compared to some of the teachers that I have like and based off of what she just said. Oh, yeah, I, I already know. It's like I definitely, you know, would have needed that uh, that tough love and things just to, like, get through some of the classes that I was going through in uh, high school because, yeah, there were some years I was struggling, like, freshman. I know I had to do, like, credit retrieval and things just to overall, like, get the credit that I didn't get in previous years. So I was struggling. I'm like, if I had somebody like Ray growing up, I'd be like, oh, thank God for Ray because, yeah, it's like kids be struggling. Like, my thing is this. Um, like I'm man, I'm like, and it, it could have been so much more worse. But I feel like that if you were to have like so, like I, and this is my own personal opinion. I feel like if like the students that always was just failing, never getting any credits, never passing any classes, because I went to school with kids and they told me, oh yeah, I had all F's freshman and sophomore year, so they were down like half the credits that they needed and stuff. And I feel like that if they did have teachers that they can relate to and under, you know, like there's just a mutual understanding. I feel like a lot of kids would be passing, but it's just like teachers today. It's just 
hey yo who made y'all upset like why why are you guys the way that you are so i think that that's why kids like i think that's honestly why kids be failing classes and stuff because it's just you know there's people that they can't and i you know and I, I don't know what overall like you know what that kid took down to like remember that ray taught him and things but it's like i hope that at some point in time in his life he realizes like you know, and if his parents try to, like, manipulate him and try to make it seem like that, oh, yeah, um, Ray was, like, the enemy out of this whole thing. I hope one day he realizes that it's, like, she she honestly wasn't, fam. Like, if it had been, like, up to her to be, like, your lifelong coach, fam, you would have did more than just that little chemical job that your dad got set up for you, so. Oh, my God. Talk about dramatic. You remained polite, considerate, and kept trying in spite of you. He did always remain polite and considerate, but I don't understand why in spite of me, what did I say? Like, I'm sorry, don't be sorry. Or this was covered in grade seven, you should remember this. Rudeness is the weak person's imitation of strength. I am not deleting you as a contact. I still have a pig, by the way, at this point. And oh. then, obviously, as we end every single story time here, I stoop down very low. <laughs> and I go, you're delusional for completely changing the narrative like that. Dang. At this point, we don't have a business relationship with other. Now oh, this, nah. this is just me talking to a bitch. So <laughs> I, can, I can talk however I like. Yeah. And they didn't wild. end up paying me for like three weeks. My theory is that she wanted me to like freak out at them for not getting paid and then eventually be like, okay, bitch, now I'm not actually going to pay you. But I didn't. <laughs> I just very politely texted her um, being like, hey, you haven't paid me yet. Got no reply. Um, then like three weeks passes and I get a random $300 because huh. it was only for like half a week. So honestly, I was just kind of gonna let go of it. I was like, this isn't worth like losing my sanity over. You know yeah. what I mean? I don't want to like fight anyone for it. So I don't want to take them to small claims court. Someone actually, someone suggested I do that. I was like, okay, no. <laughs> but yeah, for about three weeks, I thought I wasn't gonna get paid. But then I eventually did, so that's cool. Um, at the end of the day, I just, I really, really, really feel bad for the student. Because yeah. he does have a lot of potential. And if he had been given the opportunity to take this course like everyone else at a timely pace, he did have the potential to maybe get a 96% himself and not have to cheat his way through it. But now he's just, he's basically set up for failure by his own parents. And the That's company so. that he's going to be leading in a decade or so is set up for failure in the future because Specs. the leader doesn't Specs. know how to solve for interest rates. You know yeah. what I mean? Like business is highly, highly dependent on math. He doesn't need to know chemistry to run a chemical company. He needs to know math to run the business. I truly do wish the best for the kid. The mother can go kill herself. Is that offensive? Should I cut that out? Comment down below to cut that out because then I can use the YouTube editor to get rid of it. <laughs> but yeah, that was it for the story time. Um, am I the problem? Be honest with me. Am nah, I the problem? Do I need like to I start said. being fake nice to people? I think that's what we can conclude from like all of my story times. Um, thank you guys so much for watching. If you nah. like this, make sure you give a thumbs up and subscribe. I post new videos whenever. I've said like that. Okay, bye. I've said that numerous times with uh with ray where it's like nah people be out there people be out there testing ray's gangster and stuff like what the roommate this who else trisha pay this like nah because it's like okay well with the roommate my thing is is this you have you were nice in every situation possible like you were probably more canadian than the family themselves like that's why i'm like i i'm confused by this like who who was being nice and who was being mean like i yeah I, i'm lost by that but my thing is is this in the roommate situation i remember that and i don't remember you like you know being crazy or acting you know like i as i remember it like you were trying to be cool with that roommate but then she just got wild on you so you got wild back i feel like people just don't expect you to go to get as wilder than what they thought in their brain but yeah, with that, and then with the Trisha Payton situation, that girl scammed you. And it's like a bunch of other people, and it's, yeah, I just, you know, I don't think, you don't, you don't need to be fake nice, you don't need to do any of that. I just think people just need to, you know, grow up and understand, like, hey, like, life is just going to, you know, you're going to come across people like Ray, and it ain't going to be a friendly thing, because, but it's, at the end of the day, it is going to be your fault, so... But no, nah, this was a pretty good video. Um, but like, I think I did say that in the beginning of the video. It is going to be long. So, But no, nah, guys, if you haven't, make sure you go subscribe to Ray for um, more videos like this. And make sure you subscribe to her main channel, Hot Tea, and her business channel, Build Your Pocket. 
uh, contact her for some tutoring stuff. I don't know uh, how that works, but I'm like, yeah, contact her for some tutoring stuff. Um, if she, and she, I think she probably does like have like a website or some stuff like that. But uh, oh yeah, yeah, yeah. We not. Oh, no, that's the YouTube. Okay, no. Wait a second. What am I looking at? I don't know. But anyways, um, but yeah, uh, just go show the most amount of love and support to Ray. You can probably contact her and all that crap and um, just overall like figure that stuff out. But anyways, I'll talk to you guys later. Thank you for watching. Like, subscribe if you're new to the channel and peace.